Is this a scone or a biscuit or a cookie? This is a biscuit, right? Biscuit? No, what? Over here. It's a scone, scone. This is a scone? scone? Yeah. <sighs> On the back of each of these biscuits is a question about my new film made December. So let's find out what these biscuits want to know. Describe Joe in three words. Innocent, loving, quiet. Oh, look at this biscuit or cracker. How was it working with Julian Moore and Natalie Portman? I mean, <laughs> what a dream come true. Masters of their craft, they're so sweet, they're so silly, they're so incredible. They are legends, but also better human beings. It's incredible. I love them so much. They're the best. Uh, talk to us about the butterflies. There was no CGI. Those were real monarch butterflies. The monarch butterfly hatching from the chrysalis, that was all real. Me holding the monarch butterflies, that was real. Tell us a myth about being an actor. Actors are not dramatic. Can I get some lotion, please? <laughs> I'm kidding. Why should audiences go and watch May, December? It's heartbreaking, but it's this experience that Todd just, he doesn't tell you how to feel. He just sets the table before you and you pick and choose what you want from that table and you ask yourself so many different questions. It's just one of those movies that have you just thinking. Okay. Oh, what's it like to be directed by Todd Haynes? <sighs> Best director, in my opinion. I mean, so incredible. He's such a genius. He creates an environment that just elevates every department around him and just has such a point of view and vision and you can't help but just to really let go and exist in that vision. He's great. I love him. I'm just going through all these biscuits. Okay, is there a gap in the market for a kimchi flavored biscuit? What? Yeah, there's a huge gap. That gap should never be filled. Kimchi biscuit, gross. But I'll try it. <laughs> okay. How did you manage to unwind after an intense day of filming? I'd come home. I'd order a triple cheeseburger with bacon, and then I would have a large Cajun fry, I would have a hot dog, and I'd have probably a pint of ice cream, and then I would watch anime, and then I'd watch football on the weekends, and on Mondays and Thursdays, whenever I had the chance. American football, the Philadelphia Eagles, not soccer. Describe a typical day on the set of May, December really magical. I mean, everyone was so close on set, came together, we had one mission, which was to tell, you know, this story. It was so much fun, and like, everyone was just at the top of their game. I love biscuits. What scene do you think audiences will talk about most? Lately, people have been talking about the roof scene. I've never, I've never done that. When Joe smokes pot for the first time, which is heartbreaking and I guess funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long day. I probably did like 15 takes and Todd does like, you know, two or three takes like so like precise and it's there's so much room to play, but I just kept on asking for another take and another take and yeah, people seem to talk about that one the most and I still think I got one more in me. This one look, this is like a, a you know, a piece of bread with sugar on it. Yummy. I know what this is. What did you connect with most about Joe? I think his love for cakes. Mm. So good. And I think that's the last biscuit. Mm. Well, that's it. The biscuits have spoken. Watch May December now on Sky Cinema.